All right, response video to Graytex. Um, sort of. Just to a concept he brought up. Uh, since I'll, I'll get some bookkeeping out of the way, some guy did make a response video. I didn't watch the whole thing yet. The first question was, uh, what about the animals? Um, I already answered this 500 times, but yeah, the whole point wouldn't be for human beings to bail out and leave the animals here to eat each other for another billion years. Uh, no, that would be stupid. So obviously the plan would be some sort of, uh, you know, life eradication, sterilization, uh, whatever, a conversion plan of some kind. But that detail, you might as well work it out later. I mean, there's lots of ways to do it. You know, you can just blow the whole thing up or, you know, knock the moon into the earth or, you know, there's all kinds of knock the earth into the sun. <laughs> you know, there's got to be ways of doing it that are fairly complete. All right, Pyro brought this up, and I thought it was kind of lame. Like, life is going to redo this all over again. That ain't going to happen, necessarily. There's no real evidence that this is the, the uh, if you stir the pot of soup, that this is what you're going to get each time. Uh, there's lots of hurdles to first sentient life arising, and certainly this, you know, the pretense of intelligence is another obstacle. Uh, I'm not going to go into all that explanation I've done in previous videos, but Homo sapiens, well, here I go, uh, were given their bigger brains long before they could do anything with it. And evolution doesn't usually give you assets you can't use or you aren't using fully, so uh, that's a potentially very rare event, high intelligence. And it's illustrated by the fact that, uh, you know, in 300 million years, dragonflies, you know, a very successful predator, hasn't gotten a bigger brain, hasn't done anything. Yeah, why not? Because it didn't need it, that's why. Yeah, so, anyway. Um, Alright, so anyway, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, uh, yeah, Puro, I mean, uh, great text. It's all the same. Barklord, Greytex, Piro, to be serious, Professor Anton, little group of whatever, pansy atheists, pan atheists, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, so Greytex is just a very funny lament. Um, like he's using the Professor Anton rhetoric now, uh, where uh, the universe has become aware of itself. And uh, somehow we're not appreciating how incredible that is. It's incredible. It's magnificent. It's awe-inspiring. So this is sort of like you can you can do this shit forever. You could look at uh, you know Mount Everest. Yeah, and so if you're one of these mountain climber 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 guys, yeah, he's got a big giant boner. And if you're a regular human, you're like, ooh, <laughs> it's all rocky and cold. Uh, I wouldn't want to live there. Why the hell would I want to go there? I just don't get any fun. Yeah, you know, you can't have sex with it, right? <laughs> you know, practically, there's no real point, is there? Um, so yeah, whatever. Ah, <clears throat> uh, dear, big allergy attack. Um, <clears throat> it's gonna be a hot day, too, 100 degrees. Perfect timing for, uh, suffocating respiratory difficulty anyway oh shit ow it bit me um <laughs> yeah where was i yeah this whole idea that we should be awed um you know yeah it's really cool that life on earth got a brain and all that stuff but it's all perspective it's all context if you <clears throat> if you see it as a you know a turd with brains well, then you're not going to be so impressed. You know, but that's not what you're doing. If syphilis acquired self-awareness, if the universe became aware through the syphilis microbe, would you be all impressed? <laughs> you know, would you really be saying, oh, it's just so magnificent? So, it's just all kind of bogus. Again, I'm not uh, un... Um, whatever the word would be. My senses and my brain are not 
do not find the prospect of life evolving in four billion years and this acquisition of some capacity to think rationally yeah it's pretty impressive I'm you know yeah I'm, it's impressive but uh, yeah so what there's all lots of impressive there's animals doing bizarre things out there that aren't really intelligent they're just incredibly bizarre and interesting and impressive but uh, it's not a good story but some of the things they're doing is you know eating a hole through your colon traveling to your brain and uh, slowly killing you in horrible suffering so incredible and all that crap doesn't add up to much uh, sort of had this conversation before but it's, this whole idea that just people are just they can't let it go this really is the sports team psychology people are just so enamored with the the sport hero the gladiators and they've done the same thing with this life game with the human race uh, it's just this grotesque glorification um, yeah we're interesting but we're really not interesting enough to uh, justify uh, the putrid odor <laughs> that we produce um, the stink of our rudimentary psychology uh, our function is crap uh, and uh, the universe's function is crap and again so it's just this idea again because it's a a shiny chrome diamond encrusted three-dimensional tic-tac-toe theater that somehow we should all be fooled by those cosmetics by the the superficial elements and uh, you know think it's really a great little machine or a great little game and it's not it's a stupid game it's a fool's game it's a moron's game it's a retard's game uh, there's no high intelligence will not thrive playing this game um, so you're just doomed to failure because you'll have to keep them all blissfully ignorant all part of the Borg uh, keep fooling them keep the, the rational memes uh, out of view, out of sight. <laughs> yeah, don't let them know. They've been duped and fooled into a silly chase of plastic cheese. Yeah, I guess that's part of it. I mean, if, if you see us behaving like clowns, like just getting totally fucking owned, uh, you know, it's like a fish, you know, biting a rubber worm. It's hard to have respect for a fish that bites a rubber worm. <laughs> and, you know, anything that's impressive about human beings is kind of lost when we watch us chewing our, our rubber worms. <laughs> we just look so stupid. So, you know, our Fukushima rubber. Um, yeah, we just fail. Uh, there was another point I wanted to make here. Uh... Let's see, DNA, glorification. Yeah, they just never get to the core, but it is all about this context thing. It's all about how you choose to play with the facts. We know these certain facts about our existence. We know why we have the attributes we have. We have these feelings, these emotions, because they're intended to oblige us to behave in a certain way that is conducive to the ends, uh, the demands of a molecule's reproduction, and little else. It's a silly competition we won. It's like Christianity. It's a completely shallow victory. Okay, I mean, it won uh, majority ownership of the world because it killed the world. I mean, it's such a cheap way to win. Oh, you know. It's like uh, you go on Jeopardy and you shoot the two other guys and say, I win. I don't have any points, but I win because they're dead. Uh, it's pretty lame. 
and uh, you know all these people don't want uh, a little poofy oh there's still mysteries in the universe to be unsolved to be solved uh, no you're not gonna come up with any answer out there any mystery discovery any rabbit you're gonna pull out of a hat is not going to unexplain evolution or recontextualize it it's not going to change a universe full of energy that we're just a byproduct of a kind of decomposition a rusting of the world I said that in another video too maybe i haven't posted that yet that's all we are we're rust on planet earth yeah where the hell is that video hmm <laughs> yeah i don't know <laughs> to go find that. Anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just that's the real context. And if you keep that context in mind, you're not going to fall for all this. Oh, but life has such a great personality. No, if you know what it does, if you know how it functions, and what an asshole it is by nature. Uh, you're not going to be fooled by its good looks or its uh, fancy hat, <laughs> you know, or, or any of this other uh, crack shit that you people like to, uh, you know, stroke. You're like Lenny and the little soft rabbits. Uh, you know, <laughs> get real. It really is. It just, it's just stupid. It, it's the bliss of ignorance again. We're just back to that same dilemma. Uh, yes, dumb humans. You need dumb people to fight in wars. You need dumb people to do stupid jobs. Uh, you know. And, uh, yeah, the dumb make the world go round. And they do it at the price of uh, totally offending an intelligence his brain <laughs> making it sick so anyway yeah I made it across the street going to the pond see if I can find some fish to uh, well, whatever I'm gonna do <laughs> uh, molest Ooh, ants oh these are these are um, dirt bees yeah that's dirt bees living there little dirt bee holes. I don't know where they are. They didn't come out to get me. Uh, so, maybe they haven't growed enough or something. <sighs> Any fish in there? Air. Water's still kind of, yuck. But, we'll hope. Sunfish are kind of good for video and if, if I can get one to stand still in the right place. <sighs> a lovely dam here. Any turtles? Turtle? Turtle, turtle? No. <laughs> Call the turtle. Turtle, turtle, turtle! Hey, turtle, turtle! Turtle, turtle! Hey, turtle, turtle, turtle! Hey, turtle, turtle, turtle! Ooh, maybe over here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 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 I don't think so. <laughs> Never mind. I'll cross the street. Maybe there's a turtle over here. I like turtles. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, that stuff is finally growing. Wow, that turned out nice. Cost the town about 200 grand or something. But it's a nice wall. <laughs> there are some fishies in there. It's kind of streamy water, though. I don't know if I want streamy water. I think I want quiet water. But if I get desperate, that's where I'll go. There's probably a good old snapper turtle in there too. Snap my toes off. Okay, car coming. Oh. Yeah, it really does look nice. Held up well. Oh, run, 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 run. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I did it. I ran across the street. Hey, that belongs in a good musical, right? One of them, whatever you call them guys. Simon and Garfunkel or something. Ooh, fast. Ooh, 
green stuff. Ooh, sunfish. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, well, let's see what we can do. Oh, well. Oh, bird. Spoke to you later and such. Okay. Till later. And such. Ooh, it's getting hot.